Welcome to Warner's Wheeling About. Just me messing around in my wheelchair and my car. Hello everybody, welcome to another video and thank you for joining me. Now, if you drive an EV, I think you might find today's video quite interesting. The farm near where I live, Uncle Henry's, has recently installed a rapid charger. Now, you may have seen an earlier video that I made where I tried to charge my car while walking on my crutches, which I found a bit difficult. So I'm going to go back again today and I'm going to charge the car using my wheelchair. Now, um, Henry Blandford on the farm has suggested that um, I meet up with him and he gives me a tour of the plant where they make all their electricity. It's completely renewable energy and it's all done right there on the farm. So looking forward to seeing that. Sounds very interesting. So hope you're going to enjoy it with me. We're about half an hour, 17 miles, north of Lincoln, just off the A15, the road that connects Lincoln to Scunthorpe. We're following Henry across the farm and he's going to take us to their Graham AD plant where they produce their electricity. We live quite local to Uncle Henry's farm and we use it for its farm shop and for its restaurant and for its excellent children's playground. I never really knew much about what they were doing on the farm, but it appears to be um, quite diverse with the majority of the farming being arable and pig farming. The Grayingham AD plant is a plug flow digester and it was established in late 2014. It was quite difficult to um, get the sound on this uh, location so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the best I can how um, Henry explained it to me. What we sort of ended up with here. Yeah. Now this red machine on the left here is basically like a huge okay. mixing machine. All the maize and the fuel goes into here where it's liquefied basically. So these are the silage bins. This is where they bring all the um, waste product from the maize. After the maize has been harvested, what's left is brought here. And this can hold up to 1,500 tonnes. And um, it's left a while to reach a certain condition. And then it's um, consumed into the, uh, into the mixer. This is where the pig manure and slurry is stored. Now this plant consumes about 10 to 12 tonnes of um, fuel a day so about 50% of that will be um, pig manure and slurry and the other 50% will be from the maize waste. All that maize and manure goes through this process where it's uh, made into a certain constituency and then it's fed into the tanks where it settles and where the gas begins to separate from the solids and the, and the liquids. One of the byproducts of creating the gas is heat and they use these uh, sheds to store wood and timber which is dried out using this excess heat and they sell the logs in the farm shop. So now into the uh, operations room where the actual gas is turned into electricity. This AD plant produces enough electricity 
to maintain five homes on the property together with the uh, farming buildings and the farm shop and they've still got enough left over to um, operate a rapid charger. They actually produce 125 kilowatts of electrical output and 184 thermal kilowatts. In fact, since this pump has been operating, it's produced nearly 7,500 megawatt hours of uh, renewable energy. They're currently producing about 1,000 megawatt hours of electricity a year. That's enough to power 300 average homes. And this is a continuous production, apart from the occasional downtime for maintenance. And any excess gas can be fed back to the grid once it's gone through certain processes. And surplus electricity can be exported to the national grid. After the gas has been produced, the waste that's left is called the digestate and that is used on the farm as a soil conditioner. It's very high in nitrates and phosphates which obviously helps the farm to reduce their overheads you know, by buying expensive fertilisers. So there we are, modern farming, creating their own fertiliser, creating their own electricity, all from products off the farm. Now, I've had a fantastic um, time looking around and I really appreciate Henry taking the time to show me around. So um, I'm going to say thank you to Henry and I'm going to go and charge my car with this fantastic renewable electricity. Okay, I've just topped up my credit in my Fender Electric account, so I've got now £9.40, so that's plenty to get a good charge. So uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, that's in. It is a heavy cable. It's a 75 kilowatt cable. And apart from it being heavy, it doesn't really bend very well. Um, but uh, anyway, it's in.
either authenticate the charge with the uh, RFID card or via the mobile app. So I'm using the app. Okay, so that's my credit. Go back to Uncle Henry's. And I'm on charger number two. Confirm charge and pay. I'm 57% already. Going quite quickly. Um, this EV charging point is operated by Vend Electric. So if you need the app, you can get it from the App Store or from Google Play. And um, when you're on the app, you enter the charge point ID. So Obviously you select Uncle Henry's and then you select number one or number two. You can scan the QR code, which is here. Or you can activate with an RFID card. In terms of the layout of this site, um, the surface is quite hard. It looks like gravel, but it's actually a hard tarmac. Um, and the parking spaces are quite wide. And even though there aren't any hatch lines, and it would be better if there were hatch lines, but the spaces are quite wide. Um, there's no silly bump stops. You know, they've got this um, steel protection here. So there's no need for bump stops. And yes, there is a plinth, but um, it's, it's not a curve. So the level of the uh, operating screen and of the, the uh, holsters is, is, is very good. Okay, so we've got enough now, stop the charge. Okay. cable needs to return back but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it it's pretty heavy I 
think that's probably the best I can do. Uh, let me see if I can. I think that's, it's out of the way, if another car comes up it's just push it a bit more. Okay, well I'm sorry I can't get it any tidier than that, but it's quite physical work. That took 30 minutes and we've added 20 kilowatt hours. That's 63% um, added to the battery. So that's going to be about 85 miles of range added and it's going to cost us six pounds. So very good charge. A little bit heavy on the cables, but access is quite good. I'm going to be using this charger a lot in the future. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video, and um, if you did, please do um, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and um, don't forget to ring that bell icon so that you get reminded when I post a new video. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next one. Bye.